building in this school because this school has a lot of equipment. Everything about this school is just more than just to pay. Our mama at our age is University Junior High School, even though it was a big school, we're not having such kind of facilities or equipment. But being in this school, oh, it makes everything easier. From my school, if you're able to search for anything that is virtual or like anything that is virtual, meaning the ICT, you should have to use the phone, go around with it. But here, yeah, just can sit at the back and just do everything that is very amazing. Because whenever a teacher stands in front of you to teach, you understand it. Even though the teacher wants to research something or do something, you just stand here and welcome back again to my channel to see your girl uj aka mommy equa so today we'll be talking about the stem school in ghana the ghanaian government has made effort to innovate and expand technology-based learning in the country in 2011 the government launched the one laptop per child program which aimed to distribute laptops to primary school children in order to enhance the learning experience in addition, the government has implemented a program called e-learning Ghana, which aims to provide online research to students and teachers in order to enhance teaching and learning. When I tell people that the education in Ghana has advanced more than we expected, a lot of people doubt it. The Ghanaian government has also established several technology-based initiatives in order to promote innovation in education. One example is the Ghana Innovation Hub, which provides an environment for startups and entrepreneurs to develop technology-based solutions for various sectors, including education. Over time, you see a lot of people coming down to Ghana to further their education. It is not that in their country, they don't have this education, but Ghana as a country has advanced when it comes to technology in their education. Right now, schools in Ghana do no longer need to use books to study they now have this system whereby technology has now come in place that people can now use technology to learn let's take a look at this video to understand what stem is the meaning of stem and why the ghanaian government have decided to bring up the system in the educations in ghana let's take a look at the meaning of stem then we'll come back to react on this video so here is wrote stem is an approach to education that focuses on the hard science develops critical thinking and skills so the stem which is s-t-e-m stand one the s stands for science the t stands for technology e engineering and the m mathematics this is the system the ghanaian government has put in place in the educational system right here in ghana the Minister of Education is the one that's made sure that the system is implemented in some schools in Ghana. And in some other videos I'll be sharing, I'll be sharing the schools that uses the STEM, the schools in Ghana that make use of the STEM system of education. And another thing again I like about this is that it improves your skills in mathematics, biochemistry, physics, environmental study, industrial design, computer science, biomedical engineering data science statistics applied mathematics it will make the students wide in this range of sciences that is the reason why both schools that are taking this innovations in ghana are doing so well and the students in that school have so many things to say about their school system the educational system there that they don't need to like go to school with books they just go to the class turn on the system and everything they want to learn is there and they understanding everything perfectly when i say the educational system in ghana has advanced it is no doubt that it is actually advanced a lot of people are coming down here to ghana to school a lot of parents from nigeria from other african countries are sending their children back to ghana to come and get this education because this new system of education it is not found in any african country but in ghana it is only found in Ghana. Make your research about it and say that the STEM system of education is only found in Ghana. And the Minister of Education in Ghana is making sure that every school in Ghana have the same system of education. Every school in Ghana have the same system of education. Let's take a look at what the Minister of Education has to say about the STEM educational system in Ghana. <laughs> Well, we blend us with the peace.
talking about uh, the fact that the British education system is not fit for the 21st century. But before Tony Blair read this speech, we've been talking about um, the 21st century education. We've been talking about the fourth industrial revolution and why we need to treat, change, transform a high school a curriculum uh, to ensure that we can meet the goals of the 21st century. So if you look at what we are doing now, if you look at the STEM shoes that are coming up, these are this is to the first senior high school intervention. Now we are creating a better opportunity for young men and women to go to high school and get quality education that they could not get in 2017. Ensuring that news. When I tell you that the Ghanaian governments are so intentional about Ghana, not just Ghana, but everything that has to consign about Ghana, all ministers. The presidents are all hands on deck when it comes to educational system in Ghana. Education in Ghana is one thing that the government takes so serious. And I'm so happy that the Minister of Education is bringing in this system to Ghana education. He wants every student, every school to also have the STEM system of education in Ghana, whereby the student can be able to learn. You know, everything right now, the world is advancing, technology is advancing. So as the world is advancing, let the schools also advance in technology. The students shouldn't remain in the old modern way of teaching or the old modern way of learning. Let them learn a new thing. That is what the Minister of Education in Ghana, with the government of Ghana, is doing to the schools in Ghana. I don't know what you think about this. If you don't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment and share. Let's take a look at the videos to see what the Minister of Education have to say about the STEM educational system in Ghana. Then we'll come back and react. This is what? 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 This is This is what? This is This is what? 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 This is and this is Nana Abidan Kukufuado, free secondary education. And this is um, the, one of the best in the world. It looks interesting. The, you, I, 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 I never saw any high school like this in America. No doubt that you cannot get senior high schools like this in America because in Ghana here, these schools are free. They are sponsored by the government in Ghana. To get this kind of quality standard school in Africa, it is rare to see. That is the reason why I said this is the first in Africa, the first STEM schools in Africa is located here in Ghana. The government of Ghana knows what they want for the country. The development they are putting into the schools in Ghana, it is something every African country should emulate. Let's take a look at this video again, they will come back and react on it. These are the classrooms, and uh, these schools are better uh, built and configured and uh, well structured than most senior high schools around the world. In fact, this is interesting. You don't have these high schools in Singapore. You don't have them in Ghana. I'm so, so impressed about what the government of Ghana is doing in the education in Ghana. They have the free SHS, they have everything in place. They have distributed laptops, iPads to schools for them to learn. It's an advanced way of learning and teaching these children that technology has advanced. A lot of things are happening in the world right now that most schools do not really know how to do it. There are some schools you go to in Africa, they do not know the basics technology. They do not even know how to operate the system or the laptop. They do not know how to operate microsoft word the, uh, the microsoft word which is the basic in learning computer they do not know how to do it but the schools here in ghana have decided to implement all those things all the systems of education in the school the students right now will now have to like do some e-learning learn how to use the laptops study through the laptop instead of going through the books or writing and writing they'll make their research and it will help to improve their skills that is what the government of Ghana is doing right now in the education in Ghana. And I am super, super proud of it that this is happening right here in Ghana. I don't know what you think about this video. Let's play this last clip, then we'll come back and react. That this school has 12 science labs. This school has all science labs that presec. 12? Yes. 
But if you don't operate this school like Presec, right? Mm -hmm. After 20 years, it will never come close to Presec. So what are we doing now? What we are doing now is that we are doing school affiliation, as you mentioned earlier. In fact, this school is affiliated with Presec. Mm -hmm. The headmaster there now was assistant headmaster Presec. I don't know what I think about this video. What do you think about the educational system in Ghana? Is the government doing so well to make the educational system a standard one in Ghana? Or they are not doing so well? Please, I want to see your comments in the comment section. And if you've not subscribed, please help me by subscribing to my channel. If I can get 100 subscribers in a day, I will be so happy. Help me to subscribe, like and share this video. Drop your comments in the comment section below. And tell me what you think about the STEM system of education right here in Ghana. I've come to the end of this video. See you in my next video. Bye.